Toyota is a threat, it has constantly threatened car brands like Ford, Honda, and GM. In a move that shocked the automotive world, Toyota doubled its advantage by creating the Lexus brand in 1989. The creation of Lexus sent a clear message to the world that Toyota wants more of the automotive pie. With the successful run of Lexus, Toyota is back for more. The Japanese automotive maker dug down into its bag of automotive ideas to improve its the-century line of cars. This is an attack on Rolls-Royce and Bentley, and in this video, we'll show you everything about it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more. The Toyota Century was first introduced in 1967 as Toyota's premium luxury brand. It is popularly known outside Japan as the Japanese Rolls-Royce. The distinguished Toyota Century was named in honor of the remarkable legacy of Sakichi Toyota, the visionary founder of Toyota Industries, born on February 14, 1867. This prestigious vehicle not only pays homage to Toyota's centennial milestone, but also serves as a symbol of luxury, excellence, and prestige. Since the creation of the Toyota Century, it has been known to be a Japanese royal car, as it has an association with the Imperial House of Japan, esteemed prime ministers, high-ranking government officials, and influential business leaders. Upon its debut in 1967, the inaugural iteration of the Century proudly boasted a V8 engine, making it the third post-war Japanese sedan to feature such power. This distinctive characteristic remained unchanged until the vehicle underwent a comprehensive platform overhaul in 1997. In its second generation, the Century continued to stand apart with its exclusive Toyota-crafted V12 engine, a bespoke marvel defining luxury and performance. Remarkably, this unique powertrain endured until 2018, when a notable transition occurred, integrating Toyota's innovative hybrid technology alongside a return to the V8 engine configuration, marking yet another milestone in the evolutionary journey of this iconic automobile. Toyota Century brand has had four generations since its 1967 creation, each distinguished by significant attributes that elevate it as the epitome of luxury in Japan and hold the potential to revolutionize the luxury automotive landscape. So the Century now uses Toyota's innovative hybrid tech. Why isn't the car going full EV? In the last decade, car shows have had one thing in common, and that is the fact that car manufacturers all use the opportunity to unveil their EV line, just like Rolls-Royce and Ford among many others have done, as the world shifts to a future where transportation is electric. In 2022, Toyota led the ranking of the world's largest car brands, with a market share of around 11.5%. This makes it odd that Toyota has yet to make any serious dedication towards creating a fully electric vehicle look. Is there something Toyota sees that we do not? Why does Toyota not have an EV in its line? Many expected Toyota to announce the release of their long-awaited EV, but instead were met with the hybrid Japanese Rolls-Royce, which many cannot even purchase because, as we have said, it is only available in Japan and China. In various regions such as Canada, Australia, the European Union and California, legislation has been passed to ban the sale of gas-powered cars by 2035 to combat climate change. This move reflects a growing urgency to reduce carbon emissions, putting significant pressure on automotive manufacturers to transition to EVs. Despite this trend, Toyota remains in open defiance of this law. Toyota's decision to resist this timeline has stirred controversy. CEO Akio Toyota faced substantial criticism for the company's reluctance to embrace EVs fully. While acknowledging the need for sustainability, Toyota has defended its cautious approach, citing numerous overlooked complexities in the transition to pure electric vehicles. The mounting backlash from stakeholders and critics eventually led Toyota to announce his resignation as president of Toyota in January 2023, marking this the end of his 13-year tenure. Toyota's chief scientist, Gil Pratt, has issued a challenge. He questions the prevailing notion that transitioning solely to EVs is the most effective strategy for reducing carbon emissions. Supported by a mathematical model he developed, Pratt argues that a combination of gas-powered and hybrid cars results in lower overall emissions compared to an electric-only fleet. That's a shocking revelation or what do you think? No wonder Toyota is cautious towards full electrification, advocating instead for a diverse powertrain strategy that includes hybrid vehicles and even hydrogen-powered models. A critical concern for Toyota is the scarcity of lithium, a key component in the production of lithium-ion batteries used in EVs. With the anticipated surge in EV production, Toyota foresees a looming shortage of lithium and questions its sustainable sourcing. Their proposed solution involves prioritizing smaller batteries for hybrid cars, 
effectively stretching the limited lithium supply across more vehicles. This not only addresses the lithium shortage, but also reduces emissions, as hybrid cars produce fewer emissions than traditional combustion engine vehicles. Toyota has really thought this through, hasn't it? Do you think the company is right, or are they making stuff up? Toyota highlights the potential strain on global metal resources, accompanying a shift to all electric vehicles. Increased demand for metals like nickel and manganese, essential in battery production, could lead to rising battery costs and, ultimately, vehicle prices. This, according to Toyota, is a significant risk, especially considering the uncertainty surrounding government incentives for EV purchases, which may be temporary. Since Toyota is refusing to make the Century full EV, let's talk about the car so you'll see why it's so special to Toyota. We begin with the first-generation Century. The original Century, based on the 1964 Crown 8, emerged nearly two years after the Nissan president's debut in October 1965. Over its remarkable 30-year production span, the Century retained its iconic design with subtle enhancements and engine upgrades, consistently appealing to its discerning clientele. Beginning with the 1967 model, the Century featured an enhanced version of the Crown 8 engine, later evolving through various engine iterations such as the 3.4 L4V and the 4.0 L5V EU. Notably, despite the model names like 3V, 4V and 5V, these designations did not signify valve counts, but rather served as identifiers within Toyota's V engine range. Innovation marked the Century's journey with milestones like introducing automatic climate control in 1971 and adopting front disc brakes and electromagnetic locks in subsequent designs. During Japan's bubble economy, the Century's popularity soared, leading to the introduction of the Century Limousine in 1989, featuring extended dimensions and luxurious amenities. Additionally, a stretched L-type version of the Century sedan was also created, catering to diverse preferences. The Century underwent its final makeover in December 1992, with minor adjustments made in late 1994, concluding a chapter of automotive history characterized by elegance, innovation, and enduring appeal. Toyota really outdid themselves, didn't they? Now let's move on to the second-generation Century. The Toyota Century underwent a significant redesign in April 1997, maintaining its classic aesthetic while introducing modern upgrades. Powered by a robust 5.0L1 GZFE V12 engine, it boasted impressive performance with 276 horsepower and 340 lbfd of torque. Initially featuring a 4-speed automatic transmission, it later upgraded to a sophisticated 6-speed intelligent transmission in 2005, along with air suspension for enhanced comfort. Renowned as Toyota's pinnacle of luxury since its debut in 1967, the century transcended into the 21st century, surpassing even Lexus models in luxury. Designed with rear passengers in mind, the Century offers luxurious amenities, including reclining rear seats, a massage system, and soft close-door mechanisms. Priced at approximately $100,000, it stood as a benchmark of luxury, exceeding even Lexus models in cost. After nearly two decades of production, the second-generation Century ceased production in February 2017, with over 9,500 vehicles manufactured. Notably, the Century Royal serves as the Emperor of Japan's official state car, distinguished by its bespoke design and enhanced security features. Equipped with a double wishbone suspension and powered by the same V12 engine as the standard Century, the limousine variant offers unparalleled comfort and performance, making it a symbol of prestige and elegance. It keeps getting better and better, don't you think? Let's move on to the third-generation Century. The third generation of the Toyota Century debuted at the October 2017 Tokyo Motor Show, hitting the market on June 22, 2018, with prices ranging from $130,511 to $399,525. The production of this vehicle is limited to 50 units per month, each crafted with meticulous attention to detail in a nearly handmade fashion. Drawing inspiration from the Century Royal, Designed for senior members of the Japanese Imperial House, the new model retains the classic Century aesthetic while integrating modern technologies like Toyota Safety Sense P-Series Collision Avoidance Support and Toyota T-Connect. Notable visual changes include door-mounted side-view mirrors and advanced features like a 20-inch LCD screen for rear passengers. Rear passenger comfort remains a priority, with features like reclining seats, integrated heaters, massage function, and a power leg rest. 
The interior boasts a premium sound system with 20 speakers and luxurious upholstery options, including wool fabric and leather, complemented by elegant wood inlays. The powertrain features hybrid Synergy Drive technology, with a 5.0-liter V8 petrol engine and an electric drive system, offering improved fuel economy compared to the previous generation. The suspension has been upgraded to a multi-link system with airbags for enhanced ride quality. The 4th Generation Century The Toyota Century SUV emerges as a captivating addition to the esteemed Century family, offering a high-riding counterpart to the classic Century Saloon. Designed with chauffeur-driven luxury in mind, it boasts lavish rear seats equipped with advanced infotainment and reclining features, complemented by special windows that seamlessly switch from transparent to opaque for privacy. While it lacks the massive twin-turbo V12 of the Rolls-Royce Cullinan or the 5-liter petrol V8 of the Century Saloon, the Century SUV impresses with a 3.5-liter V6 plug-in hybrid system and four-wheel drive. Toyota enthusiasts can anticipate a GRMN version, promising enhanced performance. Customization options abound, allowing buyers to tailor every aspect, including choosing between traditional hinge doors or sliding rear doors. Toyota's ambition extends even further, teasing the possibility of a convertible variant, albeit with bespoke customization directly through the manufacturer. Despite its hefty price tag, approximately $135,000, the Century SUV offers exceptional value compared to its Rolls-Royce counterpart, although availability is limited to just 30 units per month, exclusively in Japan. Toyota continues to adopt a cautious stance towards full electrification, emphasizing the importance of a balanced approach that considers both environmental sustainability and practical feasibility. While acknowledging the benefits of EVs, Toyota underscores the need for careful consideration of resource availability and long-term viability in transitioning to electric mobility. The ideology can be seen in the gradual transition from the old century to the new century SUV with its V6 hybrid powertrain. Is Toyota's opinion on hybrid being better than EV valid, or is it worried it can't compete with manufacturers like Tesla? Let us know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to watch more of our content.